Whether it is from disease or heredity, one in four women will experience hair loss in their lifetime, often beginning in their 20s. The surgeons at Zeering Medical understand the special nature of female hair loss and combine hair transplants, medical hair loss applications, and an artistic, delicate touch to help women achieve a natural, undetectable result. My name is Cynthia Salazar. I'm 26 years old. What brought you to us today? Cynthia Salazar is a young working mother with two small children. At 21 years old, she began to notice that her hair was thinning, and by the time she was 25, she had a noticeable bald spot that made her feel self-conscious. It didn't seem possible that she could be 25 and losing her hair. Deciding it was time to do something about it was one thing. Following through was quite another. The decision to have the procedure changed her life. Follow Cynthia through her surgery and her results. So tell me, what is it that bothers you? It's just like the thinning right here. Okay. And where you can kind of really see into it, that's what's really bothering me, because it wasn't like that bad before. Okay. Well, let's, let's draw some stuff and, and you tell me what you think, okay? I'm just going to look at your hair first. And, you know, you've got a lot of really nice hair. It's just receded away right. from here, and so it's showing your forehead a little bit too much. And that's the part that bothers you? Yeah. Okay. What I'm looking at is just your donor hair back here, and you've got plenty of donor. Mm -hmm. As you can tell, it's nice and long and thick. So what we did, Cynthia, is this is recreating the frontal zone here for you, okay? Mm -hmm. And trying to give you a natural hairline. And so this will all be done in one procedure. We'll probably do, you know, 1,000 to 1,200 grafts in this zone, mm -hmm. okay? And what we'll do is if you have a second session to get more density, you'll really only need it in this zone. Right, in the middle. And and, and again, that's, that'll be a preference thing for you, but this should be a little bit thinner, but we just don't want it to totally recede and have nothing there. Yeah. So what we'll do is we're going to take the hair from back here, mm -hmm. okay, and we'll, we'll have your hair combed up here and we'll tape it. And so I'll remove this strip from back here mm -hmm. and you'll never see that when you walk out. And then I'll make all these little incisions in here, okay? Mm -hmm. and it's all done with local anesthesia. You'll be watching a movie. Do you have any questions about anything at all? Is it going to be very noticeable? It really shouldn't be too noticeable right off the bat. Within a week, you won't really see anything. There'll be tiny, small scabs here um, for the first few days. And you can probably just style your hair a little bit to, to, to where you can up. cover the majority of it. Your hair is so long, the hairs normally grow at like a quarter of an inch to a half an inch a month. Mm -hmm. For women, because their hair is so long, to match that, you're always going to take some time. Oh, so okay. you're going to start seeing those results from four to ten months, but it'll continue continue to get better for 12, 15 months, and so forth. <laughs> so, Cynthia, yes. you're, you're ready for this? Yeah. Okay. A little nervous, a little nervous laughter a little bit. Yeah, some extent. Nervous. Okay. Don't, don't be afraid. We've done this before, okay? Hope so. And we, we have a TV screen so you can watch the TV. Okay. If, if I forget some steps, I can watch them on a video. Don't worry. Okay. Just kidding. Okay? <laughs> but we're going to take good care of you. And again, just to review what we're going to do, I'm going to take this the hair from back here in a strip, and then we're going to cut that under the microscope, mm -hmm. okay, over there. Okay. And then we will numb this area up in the front with local anesthetic, mm -hmm. all right, and then I'll make all the incisions here, and then the staff will place the grafts in here, okay? Okay. If you have any discomfort at any time, you let us know, okay? Mm -hmm. um, you need something to eat, you're thirsty, you let us know. We're going to get you lunch, okay? You can use the restroom here, so it's all about you today, all right? Okay. This is your special day. I know being a mom, you got to take care of your kids. Today, it's all about you. So anything you need, you tell us, okay? okay. All right. Any last-minute questions? Okay. Good. So what we're doing now, Cynthia, is just taping up this hair so that this stays out of the way, and then I'm going to shave a little area right down here, and this is where we're going to take your strip from, and then this hair will fall right back over it so we won't even see it, okay? Okay. All right. The myths of women's hair loss. Women are not candidates for hair restoration surgery. Myth. A hair restoration procedure destroys a woman's existing hair. Myth. Transplanted hair on a woman's head will fall out because women lose their hair differently from men. Myth. If a woman has a hair restoration procedure, she will be forced to hide from society for 10 days because the recovery time for women is longer than for men. Myth. So, Cynthia. Yes. So what we did, it's like we talked about, the bulk of the concentration was in this triangle right here. Mm -hmm. And you have your little undulations in the peak there. Mm -hmm. We went in 
here, and you can see with your corners here, you really have to go at a sharp angle, yeah. which we did here, and then the same thing on this side. Mm -hmm. You'll start to see the little hairs grow out, and certainly by six months you'll see the shadowing effect there, mm -hmm. but because your hair is so long before it reaches the length that you've got over there, it's going to be quite some time, yeah. but it'll continue to improve. And then we can reevaluate it, and we'll look at you at six months and 12 months down the line as well, okay? If you have any questions, you let us know, and tonight you'll, uh, you'll do your soaks, and then tomorrow we'll start with that. If there's anything for us to, to do, you let us know. Okay. Okay? Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Thank you. Is a hair restoration procedure right for you? While medications such as Rogaine can help curtail female hair loss and products like Topic can camouflage thin hair, hair transplants are quite often the solution women choose. Your complimentary consultation will give you a chance to get all your questions answered and it will help your surgeon to understand your expectations and determine whether they realistically can be achieved. Or for your convenience, you can complete our virtual consultation form online and one of our patient advocates will contact you. Call Zeering Medical at 800-642-9942 and schedule your complimentary consultation.